If you want more information on Collier Area Transit, call 252-7777. The Collier County Code Enforcement Division mission statement is to protect the health, safety, and welfare of Collier County residents and visitors through education, cooperation, and compliance. One way to meet that goal is to make sure that you know the code. Hello, my name is Jeff Letourneau, and I'm the manager for investigations for Collier County Code Enforcement. And today I'd like to talk to you about vehicles and what you can and cannot do in Collier County in regards to residential districts, the estates, agricultural properties. First, I'd like to start out with uh, passenger vehicles. Um, basically in Collier County, a passenger vehicle that is parked in a residential zone, including the estates, must have a valid tag and it must be operable. So if a code officer pulls up to your property and sees a vehicle that's up on jacks, uh, has a transmission out, an engine out, doesn't have a valid tag on it, that would be a violation in Collier County's eyes and, and you might be cited for something like that. The three ways to come into compliance with an unlicensed or inoperable vehicle would be to obviously fix the vehicle and get a valid tag or store it in a completely enclosed structure such as a garage or remove the vehicle to an area intended for such use. The next thing I like to talk about is recreational vehicles such as boats, campers, um, RVs, ATVs. In residential districts, you're not allowed to park these for an extended time in the front yard. Um, where you have to park them is behind the back plane of your house and in, in your backyard. So if you have a boat on a trailer, if you have an RV, if you have an ATV, you're allowed to park these in your backyard. In no district in Collier County are you allowed to live in a recreational vehicle. So if, if you have a relative that comes down from up north and wants to park their RV at your property, they can do so as long as they're in the backyard or they can pull a temporary use permit to park it in the front yard. However, they're not allowed to live in this recreational vehicle at any time. So they could park their vehicle there, they'd have to live inside the house with uh, the people they're living, uh, staying with. Uh, if you have a boat and you want to take it on a trip, uh, Collier County lets you park it in your front yard for 48 hours in order to prepare the boat before the trip or after the trip you're allowed to park it there to clean the boat. But after that, that initial 48 hours, you are going to have to store it in your rear yard or on your, uh, at your dock if you have a canal on, on davits or, or whatnot. Next, I'd like to talk about commercial vehicles in residential districts. Commercial vehicles are, um, in Collier County's eyes, any vehicle that is um, higher than 7.5 feet, wider than 7 feet, or longer than 25 feet. And in, in residential districts, you can only park your commercial vehicles in a completely enclosed structure or in your rear yard. If you are going to park a commercial vehicle in your backyard, it needs to be totally screened by vegetation or by a fence from your neighboring properties. So if, we, if code got a complaint that you had a commercial vehicle on your property, even though you had it in your backyard, if we could see it from your neighbor's property, it would be a violation. Obviously, you can park it in a completely enclosed structure such as a garage. As far as commercial vehicles and recreational vehicles, a homeowners association might have a totally different um, take on these type of vehicles. What might be a recreational vehicle or a commercial vehicle to an HOA might not be a recreational vehicle or a commercial vehicle to Collier County Code Enforcement. Especially commercial vehicles, uh, your HOA might say a pickup truck with a uh, company logo on the side is a commercial vehicle. Unless it uh, exceeds the height, width, and length standards that Collier County uh, sets, it wouldn't be a, a commercial vehicle in Collier County's eyes. Just remember that HOAs and Collier County Code Enforcement have different standards. And if you have any questions, you can visit us on our website at colliergov.net, or you can also call Collier County Code Enforcement at 252-2440 to get any information you might need about Collier County Codes.